happy day 10 everybody. This is my year in food. I'm Jilly Lagasse and today we're going to be making something so simple. It's perfect to just whip it together when you're out of things and you don't know what to make. I'm sure you probably have all this already in the house. So we're going to be doing a spicy easy puttanesca sauce. So now puttanesca is, it's a southern Italian dish. Usually it's got olives and capers and really that kind of salty, briny flavor of a pasta sauce. So it's a real simple pasta sauce. So we're gonna start with garlic, olive oil. We're going to pit these olives and chop the olives up. A nice bit of crushed red pepper. And then I've got some really nice um, peeled plum tomatoes. And all you do in the can, okay, you just take your scissors, and while these guys are in the can, you're just gonna go through and roughly with clean scissors, obviously. You're just going through and you're gonna chop all these guys up so it breaks up the tomatoes. Kids love that game, <laughs> if you can give your kids scissors. Um, and then I just got some really nice char gluten-free pasta. This stuff's awesome. So I'm gonna make this. We'll make our sauce so easy. So I'm gonna get everything chopped and working in the pan so you can see what the sauce looks like. And this is gonna come together one, two, three, lickety, splickety. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so day 10, my year in food, we're making a really easy puttanesca pasta sauce. So this is pretty much there. Our pasta's going, that's only got a few more minutes and we're gonna drain that off and add it into this sauce. If you wanna come and have a look, I wish you could smell and taste, it smells amazing. So we've got quite a lot of garlic and all those olives just chopped up. And then that can of peeled plum tomatoes. And now the last thing to finish this, oh, and there was a little crushed red pepper if you want it hot, if not, just salt and pepper. That's literally all that's in here. And the next finishing thing, so this is ready. So all we're gonna do to finish it off is add some fresh parsley and that's all gonna go in. And we'll give that a good stir, and that's it. We'll give this another two minutes to kind of bubble along. We're just waiting for the pasta, which I'll drain and add it in. And we are good to go. This could not be a simpler, easier meal. And you probably have olives in the house that you're just kind of looking at every time you open the fridge. So this is a great way to kind of utilize all those, those things that you have kind of hanging out in the fridge. Dump them in a pasta sauce, it's perfect. Right, so I'm gonna drain the pasta, add it in, I'll plate it up, and we'll see you in just a moment. So here it is, everybody. My incredibly easy puttanesca pasta sauce with some beautiful char gluten-free pasta. That literally took me maybe 10, 15 minutes total basically until the water was, uh, the pasta was done, it's ready. And I've got some beautiful gluten-free rolls on the side to get junk in, get all that good sauce. So that's your day 10, my year in food, easy puttanesca pasta. I hope y'all try this at home and really, you'll enjoy this and you'll enjoy how fast it is to make. I'll see you tomorrow, happy cooking and happy eating.